everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Cinder by Marissa Mayer. And I'm not sure if it's Mayer or Meyer, I've heard it both ways. This is a book that is a retelling of the fairy tale Cinderella. It takes place in the future and Cinderella is a cyborg. It, and it's really funny because when I first heard the description, I was like, oh, that sounds so cool. And then when I was telling some of my friends about it, they're like, oh, that's kind of weird. But I mean, I really like fairy tale retellings a lot. Just so you guys know, I'm not a fairy tale expert. My only real exposure to Cinderella has been the Disney movie or Once Upon a Time, the TV show on ABC. I've never read like Grimm's fairy tales or anything like that so I'm not an expert by any means I just really enjoy what I do know about it. The story takes place far into the future in New Beijing which is basically just a reconstruction of Beijing China after the fourth world war. Cinder is like I said a cyborg so she has mechanical parts like a mechanical arm and a mechanical foot and she works as a mechanic in New Beijing. When she was younger, she was adopted. She doesn't really remember much about her life before getting adopted. She only really remembers stuff from after being adopted because when she was adopted was also around the time that her surgery took place to put in her arm and her leg and things like that. But soon after she was adopted, her father passed away and then she's been left with her, you know, adopted mother and two sisters. I really really love this book. It was a really quick read. I probably could have finished this in a day if I had an entire day to devote to reading but I was able to finish it within a couple days partially because it's an easy read and partially because I was really into it so I wanted to stay up and read it and finish it. Because this is a retelling of Cinderella the story is pretty predictable. You can tell almost from the beginning what's going to happen. Even there's supposed to be this big reveal at the end of the book that I felt like was pretty obvious from the beginning and I feel like it's supposed to be kind of obvious from the beginning where it's going. This this isn't really a book to read if you're looking for a big surprise or anything like that. I mean the plot is pretty obvious. There's only like one part that I was really surprised by. Another thing is the fact that there's more to the story besides the actual Cinderella story. There is this disease that is killing a lot of people in New Beijing and throughout China. They are trying to find a cure for it. This disease has infected the king and infected many other people in the town. You die within a couple of days I believe or a week or so of getting infected or being showing signs of being infected. Now I wouldn't say this was a perfect book by any means. There are a lot of things that are happening in here that I wasn't expecting which is both good and bad. There's a lot more to the plot than the basic Cinderella plot. There's this whole thing about lunars which are people who live on the moon. You didn't really need to add all of that and the Cinderella aspect of it. Like I felt like you could have done the whole Cinderella retelling as one book and then this whole other storyline kind of as another book. You didn't really need both of them, if that makes sense. Also, one of the things is that they're not really clear about a lot that's happening in this world. They make a lot of references to things and I think I just was confused about it. Maybe I just missed it or am misunderstanding it, but I don't really understand the difference between a cyborg and an android. I think an android is just a full robot that can act like a human but doesn't have like a human emotion and I believe a cyborg which Cinderella is is supposed to be a human who has robot parts because something has happened. I don't completely understand how Cinder works. There are parts of the book that talk about how her system is overriding her emotions and keeps her calm and things like that which I don't completely understand and I don't know if that's just supposed to be the scientific futuristic aspect of it that is like we don't have that technology yet so you have to pretend like this technology just works in people type of thing. But I feel like that whole aspect wasn't really explained at all. But honestly the best part of this whole book are the characters. Cinder is amazing. I love her as a character and as a protagonist. She has so much personality and she goes through so much and I felt like I could understand a lot of the things that she talks about. I feel like her motives are very justified and her thought process is very justified in what she's doing. Because we already know the Cinderella story, we already kind of understand the situation that she's in so we are more sympathetic towards her. And there's also this whole aspect in the story about how cyborgs are looked down upon because they don't see them as being fully human. She doesn't think anyone 
would really like her or love her because she's cyborg like as soon as they find out she's a cyborg they're gonna treat her differently so she always wears like gloves to cover her hands so you can't tell that she has cyborg hands or you know make sure her feet are completely covered so that way you can't see that she has cyborg feet the one thing I will say though is I went into this not knowing that this is going to be a series I knew that the author was writing more books but I didn't know that it was gonna be a continuation of this like storyline I thought she was just gonna do more fairy tale retelling but then I got to the end of the book and I realized that this was a series because of the way it ended it kind of like leads into the next book I feel like this entire book is kind of like just a setup for future books which isn't to say that nothing happens but nothing is resolved so yeah that is basically my thoughts on cinder I really really loved it I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads and I definitely stick with that rating I wouldn't give it a five because there are some flaws I do wonder what the future books are going to be like because I don't they're not going to be able to follow the Cinderella storyline because that part is basically done. Just as a reminder, the previous video was a viewer's choice so you guys can vote on one of the books that I'm going to be reading next month so feel free to check that out. Right now it's a super close race and the book that is in the lead is only winning by one vote so be sure to get your votes in before the end of the week. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching. My battery's gonna die, so I gotta make this quick. Fire. I've said it differently every time and heard it differently in different places. Dang it. Computer. When she was younger, she was adopted by, um, no, mother who doesn't really like her. And then there's a prince in the area and, oh, that's a train horn. <sighs> Find a cure for it. I forgot what the disease is called. If anything, I feel like all of the problems have just been set up for the future books and I hit my backpack, so that sounds funny.